ladies. Like I said, I would come back with the box, um, gift card box. And uh, here we go. So what you're going to need now, I've had to undo mine because I can't find the template. I do have a box full of templates of stuff that I've done over the years. So what we're going to do is you need a five and a half inch wide piece of card. That's the width. And then the length you need to do um, 9.8 inches long. And then what you're going to do with that, you're going to score it. And we're going to score it, work from the right off, whichever way you work it, you're going to do the same. One inch wide, score it. 3.4 inches wide, score it. One inch wide, score it. 3.4 inches wide and score it again. Then what you're going to do is to put your folds in, crease them well. You must use card for this, uh, paper's no good. Fold that one, go to the next one, fold that one, next one, fold that one. And then when you've done that, you need to turn it around and you're going to score it one inch from the edge one inch from the edge on both sides when you've done that turn it back round and you from the crease line of the longest part you're going to cut down the crease the one inch move on to the next section cut that cut the next one cut the next one turn it around do exactly the same on the other side and then we're going to make the box and to do that either end doesn't matter take one end turn the little flap in and attach that and I'm just going to use tape for now but you'll use glue or whatever so I'm just going to tape mine up if it was tape I had to undo it to show you um, so for now you won't do yours like this obviously because uh, you don't want tape showing everywhere the bottom section turn the flap in put that up Again, you'll glue it together, use glossy accents or whatever you've got. Next one, turn the flap in at the other end. Back up a couple at a time. And you'll glue yours in. There you go, just like that. So that's what you've got. And then the middle flap only needs to be attached to one one end of the box <coughs> so what you're going to do is turn the flap in and stick that uh, glue that in again do the same again on the other side and there you've got your box like that just fold over What you could do then, slot your, um, just to give it a little bit of a snip. You could do that first actually and make it bigger and I just never thought about it till just now. And just to, so you've got something to grip hold of and open your box. So once that's done, obviously you decorate it how you want. I'll just open mine up. And what you need, you can use several cards. I mean you can get up to 12 in these without anything on them but if you're going to decorate them like I've done um, you, uh, with using a large pearl you're not actually going to get that many in so I've got two, four, six, eight at the moment I probably will only do the top one fancy like that decorate your cards and slot them in and the size you need for them are six inches wide by three inches six by three fold them in half and pop them in the box decorate that however you want to do it and it looks nice with lace and a bit of ribbon bit of trim bit of feather make them really fancy so that's your box and um, the next thing we're going to do like I said is the daisy wheel the flower 
like I say, these are hard to come by. Um, right, it took me months and months to find one, but there you go, I got one. And the other night, all I did was just sit and do one row, just one row of that. And the way to do that is um, just get your wool. We just quickly get some wool. I'm just going to quickly run through this. Um, thread your wool through the middle hold long enough to hold on and tie after you've finished go around your first lot just keep going round like that and you can do this oh three or four layers I mean quite a few actually then when you've done the outer rim move into the middle rim and then you can move into the the middle rim again so I'd only probably do about five rows of this outer rim five of the next and five of the next and um, when you've done that then all you do is get a sewing needle thread it and then you sew in between just sew in between go all the way around till it's caught it like a flower and um, you can go over like that or just basically go around like that I do one of each actually and then you can attach a little flower in the middle when you take it off like that and uh, they do look nice and you can use all sorts of thread you can use that raffia um, material as well and like you say they do look nice so if you want any more information on these just drop me a line and um, we'll see what we do next oh yes the next one what we're going to do is this this little desktop card holder Ooh, turn it right way around so you can see it and that's what I'm going to make next with you so till then bye